This Roblox YouTuber is in danger. So Creecraft looked into this guy, Fallen Shepherd, but there's some new information on him and it's pretty interesting. Let's check it out. Unsolved Roblox Mysteries. Okay, Part what do we two, got? Fallen Shepherd. So Fallen, Fallen <laughs> Shepherd was a Roblox player that created their account in 2019. Okay. However, not very long after, things would take a very dark turn oh, for no, Fallen what Shepherd. Happened? One day, him and his family decided to go on a trip in the savannas. All right. However, so according this is real to him, life. Then, he okay. was feeling a sense of disruption during that whole trip. Oh and no, the what happened? Part is he returned from the trip without his family. People started to question this, however, his family was just sadly pronounced DD. Oh however, no, what happened? Something that disturbed the investigators was is he that the, one the that family's bodies were not found. Bodhi? After this, Fallon <laughs> okay. Shepherd made his way onto Roblox. However, he then created two of the most disturbing games to ever exist oh, on really? Roblox. Yeah, I'm getting one chills of them was here. called Poof. Oblivious, and the other was Caladry Membrance. Okay, all right, let's investigate. Okay, so when Creecraft checked out this account, there was only one map that was playable, but now Fallen Shepherd has three different ones, including the ones from the TikTok video. Another thing that's interesting is 52623. So that's in a couple of days, actually. And also, if you go into his group, A Sacrifice, you actually see that he's now targeting Creecraft right here. Welcome, Creecraft. We are carefully observing you. I'm Creecraft's dad. I'm back with milk. <laughs> he changed his name to Uwu. Creecraft did actually change his name to Uwu. Yeah, check it out here. <laughs> I love anime girls so much. Okay, so we're gonna see what dark secrets Fallen Shepherd has in store. There's also another map that wasn't revealed in the TikTok video, so let's check it out. Okay, so I just spawned in like a dark cave. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk straight and see what I find. Oh, what's over there? Oh, are those bodies? Oh no. Oh, oh jeez. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, so these are the people chained up. Oh, this yelling is so scary. Okay, and this is the monster thing. Ooh, I just got goosebumps. I don't like that. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is spooky. Well, let's check out the other maps, though. This is the map that wasn't shown on the TikTok video. They took them. Oh, man. Oh, what's over here? <laughs> <laughs> I'll move my stubbly little arms. Okay, again, I do see something in the distance, but what's over there? Oh, is this like a guillotine? Yeah, it is. But what for? Why is this here? Can I get on this thing? Oh, I can. Okay. No, I don't want to get my head chopped off. <coughs> okay, yeah, but let's see what happens on May 26th, which again, is just in a couple of days. What is a Fallen Shepherd preparing? So this next Roblox hacker is one of the earliest accounts to have ever been made. Take a look here. Roblox most dangerous hackers. Okay. Cryptid data. So cryptid data was a hacker back in 2017. He was mostly known for the John Doe hacking. Yeah. You see, the account John Doe was not created by a hacker. It was created by a normal player, but the account was later abandoned. So John Doe was not created by a normal player. He was actually created by Roblox themselves in the early stages of Roblox. If you take a look here, his join date was 2006. So it's very, very old. And it was later hacked by a hacker that is believed to be cryptid data. Okay, People yeah. believe cryptid data was the hacker behind John Doe. That is Doe true. A lot of people thought he was a he hacker. Because he was on John Doe's friends list. <laughs> and he used similar hacks to John Doe. And he was also seen in the same games as John Doe. It is said that if you mocked John Doe and said like that he was a bad hacker, yeah, you would, you would get to hacked. track down your account and get it deleted just for fun. <laughs> After okay. all of this, Cryptid Data was banned from Roblox. Was he and actually? the John Doe account was taken away from him. We do not know if Cryptid Data will ever return. But legend has it that Cryptid Data will return on a new account more powerful than ever before. More powerful than ever before. Let's That's that always said. Happen. <laughs> okay, so first I want to see if Cryptid Data... No, Cryptid Data is not banned, is he? Wait, he's right there. <laughs> he's doing just fine right here. Sometime around 2017, people started thinking that John Doe was going around hacking people. And a lot of YouTubers were saying that John Doe was going to hack Roblox on March 18th. It was actually a really big thing. There's a lot of popular videos about March 18th. The March 18th supposed hacking was so popular, even Flamingo did a video about it back then. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the time is currently 1156 or 1157 uh, p.m. In three minutes, it's gonna be March 18th, which means it's John Doe's yeah. thing today. The John Doe's gonna Doe start. supposed to hack all of our accounts. And so, what actually happened on March 18th, that fateful day? Nothing.
literally nothing happened. There was no hack, obviously. <laughs> it was just a lot of YouTubers saying a lot of rumors to get hype and get views and nothing happened. Going back to crypto data, the one that a lot of people say hacked John Doe's account and started hacking other people. So the reason why people say that is because back then, if you went to John Doe's account, he had only nine friends, one of them being crypto data, as you saw right there. And so he's a pretty interesting person. If you go over here, so if you join his world, there'd be a lot of like, you know, stuff that looks like it was hacking, but you know, it's his own game. It's his own world. So you could pretty much do whatever you want with it and make it look like you're hacking or exploiting or whatever. Not to mention a lot of players were going around dressing up like John Doe and, <laughs> and just, you know, messing around, making it give the illusion that Cryptid Data was a more powerful hacker than you would actually think, which he wasn't. But the question still remains, how did Cryptid Data friend John Doe. How did he do that when John Doe hadn't been online for years at this point? Did Cryptodata hack John Doe's account and was he actually a hacker? Well, not really. So yeah, pretty much around 2017, there was a glitch that a lot of players discovered that allowed people to be able to friend accounts without even friend requesting. So it would just automatically friend them. So some people like Cryptodata would do this glitch to friend John Doe and it would auto accept them on their friends list. This whole John Doe hacking became so popular that Roblox themselves actually had to do a whole post clarifying this whole hacking situation. They themselves were doing a whole investigation on this. So yeah, this was back in March 21st, 2017. And it was just kind of answering the questions that, on who John Doe is, who Jane Doe is. Also again, clarifying the whole friends thing and how people were able to friend the account without them logging in. And yeah, if you scroll down here, Roblox themselves say myth busted. Cryptid Data, is he a real hacker? No, not really. But I think it's a very fun and interesting story. Okay, so this next Roblox myth is actually pretty spooky. On my Flush official group, there are some people suggesting that I look into the account Black Sundays. So let's take a look at it. So Black Sunday is a pretty interesting account. I was looking at the Wikipedia here. It does look like the account was mysteriously banned. Apparently he created a game with a puzzle in it, but he would not let people solve it. it it's strange here. Let's take a look at this. Black Sundays would join the game and persuade the player to stop their efforts. If the player refused and continued hunting, their account would be banned and terminated by Roblox. So potentially Potentially he did some hacking or something like that, but his game is actually up right here. But look, take a look at this. When I try to click on his account, it's banned right here. We don't know why, but let's play the game and see if we can actually solve it. And hopefully he doesn't appear in my game, which he shouldn't because he's banned. Spoiler, he does actually join my game. Just watch. Okay, well, what is this place? So this is like, this is like a puzzle thing, right? Okay, so can I just like get out here? <laughs> no, I can't. I can't get out there, okay? Well, there's like invisible walls or something. Ooh, what's this? Gah. Okay, so at first I gotta figure out how to get out of here. Get me out of here. Gah, 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 gah. There's nothing I can, huh? <laughs> Wait, what is that? Black Sundays joined? Wait, what? Wait, that's not him, right? <laughs> is this part of the game? Well, how, how could that guy get out here? Well, what, what the heck? How'd you just walk out? <laughs> I'm a big fan. No, that that does that doesn't mean you got out just casually. Oh, he did it again. What the heck? How 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 did he get out there? <laughs> Oh look, there's Black Sundays again. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh yeah, Robert's just got mods in. Okay, this is just exploiting. <laughs> I don't really think this was Black Sundays, but I also can't really say that Black Sundays is fake. So we're just going to leave that as a mystery. All right, don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.